Okay, so today we're gonna do a little mail time on this uh, Mighty Max battery that I ordered. Let's get to it. Today to open it, we're gonna be using our Milwaukee Fastback uh, utility knife here. I like this knife. I like going fishing with it because when you close it, you can cut your string right in here, nice and safe. I like, I like this. And you know I love the Milwaukee line, too. If you follow my show, you know I like Milwaukee. But yeah, let's get to what we're uh, talking about here. So, that little Suzuki that we did back there in the shop uh, needed a battery. So, these batteries right here, I get them for $20 off Amazon. And I've not had a problem with them. So, uh, they're made by Mighty Max. And uh, this particular one is a uh, model number YTX5L-BS, not, not, not the real BS, but you know. Uh, yeah, it's um, for uh, mo motorcycles and uh, ATVs, so it should be just fine for our little Suzuki back there. Now, what's cool about this is that there's no charging for them you know like you always got to put those you know um uh, uh, the battery acid in it but you don't have to on these little guys here so uh let's go out to the shop i just fired up the heater and uh let's install it okay let's get this thing open well come on over here and look at it there you are all right Boy, this seat has done its duty, huh? Yeah, it's going to be a nice little quad for somebody. I mean, I like the older stuff, guys. I always say that. Um, reason being is that stuff was made better back then, if you ask me. I mean, it was made to last. Especially these little, you know, these Suzuki's and, and Hondas. That stuff was made to last. All right, so it comes with the uh, little um, nuts and bolts here. So let's get this bad boy open here. There we are. All right. Let's see if she fits down in there. So, oh yeah, she's going to fit nice and neat in there. Okay, good nice all right let's take it back out now remember in the uh first episode if you guys didn't see i i, I have two full episodes on getting this little uh, this little uh, uh atv going i picked it up along with uh an adult go-kart and uh i got a video on the go-kart too so you know, just have fun with it, you know, and, and take a look at both of those videos if you would. All right, let's see here. Oh, let me go get a screwdriver real quick and I'll bring you back. All right, so what you do is that you just slip, slip these little doodads inside there. Okay, I'll do one at a time because they like to kind of fall out on you. And we don't got too much room to work with. So what I do, I do this first one first. Do the negative first real quick. Hopefully this won't go all the way through. There you are. All right. Now, I'm still going to put this on the trickle charge uh, overnight just to be sure, you know, when, uh, you know, when it gets sold that I'm not giving somebody a battery that's not fully charged. I don't, I don't expect somebody to do it to me. I'm not going to do it to somebody else, you know, so I'm going to fully charge up this battery overnight. And get this thing rock and rolling for the next person. 
so we can move on to the next uh, project here in the shop. Because I don't like getting too many things uh, going at once. You kind of get overwhelmed and, and, and that. So um, I like to finish a project, get it all done, get it sold, get it out of here, and then move on. Um, you know, in the meantime, you know, I'll pick up some stuff, you know, mail calls and, and things like that. But, um, if I don't have a whole lot of videos, it's cause I don't have a whole lot of stuff to, uh, I, I don't have a whole lot of stuff to, uh, present to you guys. And I don't want to just bring any old thing just for the heck of it. You know, I mean, this has been a good little little project. I, I picked it up for 200 bucks. Yeah, I picked it up for 200 bucks. Let me get this uh, camera off of here. And, uh, and let's check out this little quad. Yeah, this little Suzuki has been a good little project. Um, so what we did to it is uh, we fixed the... Uh, there was a relay in here. We cleaned the carburetor. We rebuilt the top end. Uh, we replaced some hoses. Got into here and got this sorted out. You know, it was kind of stuck. and Because um, the thing, uh, the gentleman that I got it off of said that he, he got it off another guy that basically abandoned it. So, and then we fixed this, uh, you know, little returning spring there. Yeah, it's been a nice little quad. Let's see if she fires up with this new battery right out of the out of the box here. Mighty Max batteries. Maybe out of gas. Hold on. All right, we'll put some gas in it. Take two. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Yeah, this uh been a nice little quad guys. But a nice little quad. Let's uh let's get that battery charger on her and then uh it's kinda early. Uh you know, this morning. Oh I don't know if you guys ever seen this in the background. This is my uh, G9 Yamaha golf cart. I kind of made it like a look like a little army jeep. I, I got some more uh, things. It was wrecked in the front <clears throat> when, when I got it, and I I uh, put these uh, these headlights on here. Um, I I ordered them from Amazon, and I got these ones thinking I can kind of like French them in, you know, but I, I, I just kind of like let them hang out. I mean, we beat it up pretty good, you know, I mean, it's, but it's pretty cool. Um, that kit from Amazon came from, uh, you know, China, of course, but you know, um, I, I, I forget what company, but they do the, uh, the headlights and the tail lights here. It comes with all the wiring and everything. Let me show you real quick. Just, you know, wire up this switch. It comes with the switch and everything. It's got tail lights. Pretty bright, actually. You know. Pretty cool. But, yeah. Um, my wife is going to uh, uh, get on her cricket or whatever the hell you call that thing. And, and put the... Uh, you know, the star right there, you know, the circle star uh, on both sides. It's going to look pretty cool. Um, yeah, give me a shout if uh, you got anything, you know, like that, you know, in your garage. It's pretty cool. Oh, um, and when I first got it, I uh, had to uh, rebuild the top end. You know, just gaskets though, no no pistons or anything like that, no rings or nothing like that. It smoked really bad because of one of the gaskets were breached, but yeah. Um, well, heck, I'm getting off track, ain't I? Yeah, 
Oh, uh, this is this has been a good quad. With that being said, guys, remember it's just nuts and bolts, and God bless.